next two years in this arduous World Cup qualifying campaign for these two sides. But only four are guaranteed to be at the next finals. He wins his 96th cap tonight. Chile's most cap player of all time. And the man who raised the trophy aloft here in July for the final success over in Argentina. A 0-0 draw. Chile winning on penalties. And this great generation of Chilean footballers finally has some... And it is the 71st time these two sides have met. Brazil dominant over their history with 49 wins to Chile 7. Now the game. It's a bit short. Seized upon by the rapid Douglas Costa. Excellent covering tackle though by Gary Medell. Time that superbly. Four pass by Vidal. Costa latching onto it, but we recall last month by Dunga Hulk. He was a key part of the World Cup team under Luis Felipe Scolari. That part of the Copa America squad for Dunga in the summer, but the English top line. Hulk. That by Medes ended at the quarter-final stage with defeat against Paraguay. Oh, Nailing over. <laughs> We're hoping for a positive start to this World Cup qualifying campaign here. Master the arriving, tipped in towards Hulk. He's lost 12 and drawn two. Here's Douglas Costa, who has got past Silva, couldn't get past Medell. Medica here in the summer. After his arrest for drink drive Dean. In 90 minutes, he has won 14, one draw, and only one defeat. That was at the Copa America against Colombia in the summer. But despite what is a superb record that on paper for Brazil of late, there is still a feeling that to beat Paraguay here in a friendly match last month by three goals to two. The last defeat here was... <laughs> must burn plenty of calories with his touchdown antics. Tournament where the two teams met again in the last 16 stage. And Brazil came out winners. Brazil now dropped down to seventh place in the latest FIFA World Rankings. Might have a chance of goal here after an awful mistake there. Against the side from the Oceania region in November of 2017. It's the sixth year of this quality off the bench for them. The corner first. Which was glanced up. Here's Hulk. And Hulk still going on, it's swept away. Here's Oscar. Just what Alexis Sanchez can do. In the blink of an article though, over this two-year process. No half sign changes from either team here. Remember, there were two first half changes there, one apiece. Mark Gonzalez coming off the bench for Chile in place of Francisco Silva. What appeared to be a tactical change. 4-2 success back at home in Salvador. That was arriving from fullback. It's away by Marcelo. This just bounced there by way from Diaz. A good ball by two. It's Oscar. Looking towards Hulk. Away by Garrett, where he could have come inside and gone for goal himself. Their defences aren't particularly tight. There's those gaps to exploit on the counter attack.
with being clever to get his body between the man and the ball. This a moment of real concern for Chile. Vidal. Diaz. And Gary Medell. The time is Fernandez. So free kick. Gary Medell is not a happy bunny at the moment. Constant discussion. With the referee, he scored three goals here at the Copper in the summer. Arturo Vidal, two of those were spot kicks. And he moved to German football to buck. A defensive change, the second one to bring on Fernandez of Valdivia. Last seven. Looking for Costa. It's a mistake by Medell. Costa driving on. Oliveira again. Just moments after coming off the bench. Maybe Brazil's best chance of the second half. Tackles flying in from Chile. Dunga will have to galvanise his team before their match against Venezuela on Tuesday in Fortaleza. But for Chile. And they built up over the past few months. Just rolls on. The half time from Eduardo Vargas. Yeah, the Brazil